So just as genomic biology has revolutionized uh, the world around us as we understand it today, that could have not happened without a revolution in the technology of gene sequencing. Sequencing technology, mostly aided by the Human Genome Project, provided technological resources, new technologies to allow you to sequence whole genomes, both in bacteria, plants, as well as animals and humans. And that allows us and gives us the power to sequence these metagenomes at a very fast and a very cheap price. So now what we're doing to study the river is taking large volumes of water and we're concentrating all of the bacteria in that water sample. Then we're going to extract the DNA from those bacteria so we have this enormous DNA sample. All right, so we start with a ball of cells that we've isolated from our water samples. So what we do is a DNA extraction which is a process of breaking open those cells and then removing all of the cell components that aren't DNA, the proteins, the RNA. So we're left with just a pure sample of DNA at the end. After Chris isolates the DNA from the water, we're able to sequence the DNA on the DNA sequencer. So this is a, one of the newer DNA sequencing machines. It's in the last year, it's doubled its ability to, to sequence DNA quickly and affordably, and it's thanks to these technological advancements that we're able to do all of our DNA sequencing in a short amount of time. DNA is put onto a flow cell, you can sequence one human genome across three lanes of this flow cell. You would be able to do two and a half human genomes on this one flow cell. It would take approximately two and a half weeks to read it, but that is what you could do. This technology allows that to happen. And the flow cell is put into this bay, and the instrument reads and analyzes that DNA as it comes off in real time. That is then turned into data, which we use on the computer, and bioinformatics helps us to piece the DNA together. We get millions of sequences from this one water sample, and we can then look at those sequences, compare those to sequ fingerprints that we've already got from known bacteria, and then we can figure out what's in the water and how much of it's there. The main thing I love about this science is that everything we discover is new. No one's ever seen some of these things before. So it allows us to ask questions, to have innate discovery that no one else has found before. So I'm really excited about metagenomics and having kind of a problem and a way to solve those problems with understanding the microbiology of the system is really gets me excited and keeps me going.